So in this chapter we've been talking a lot about similar triangles. If I look at the two triangles in this figure, triangle ABD and triangle ACE, can we conclude that those triangles are similar? You should say yes. Now, how are they similar? That would be by the angle-angle similarity postulate. Here they're overlapping on angle A, and then they each have a 75 degree angle. So that is angle-angle. Now, what can we say about segment BD? First, let's think. You know, something else that looks similar to this um, would be a mid-segment. Is BD a mid-segment? No, because AB is not the same length as BC. So B is not a midpoint, therefore BD is not a mid-segment. Okay? But we could conclude something about BD. Since both of these angles here are 75 degrees, they are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent. So when corresponding angles are congruent, we can conclude that BD is parallel to CE. So what we have here is one large triangle, triangle ACE, and we have a line parallel, a parallel line in the triangle to one of the sides of the original angle of the triangle. Okay, so BD is parallel to CE. Now, yes, we know it creates these similar triangles, but there's a shortcut in terms of those proportions because when we know triangles are similar, we set up a statement of proportionality, and then through that statement of proportionality, we fill in our proportions and we can solve. But there's something called the triangle proportionality theorem. And that says that if you have a line that's parallel to a side of a triangle, it divides the sides of the triangle proportionally. So what that means is if I set up, if I do my number calculate here, and I'm going to set up two ratios. And ratios is just one number divided by the other. So if I look at 6 over 8, that ratio between AB and BC, I would get about 0.7. Now, if I look at the ratio between the same, the, like the, no, I wouldn't say the opposite sides, but the, so, the segments that are created on the other side of the triangle by that parallel line, right? So if I go to measure, calculate, oops, number, calculate, sorry, and I do 8 divided by 12. So the ratio of AD over DE, see how that's set up there? It's a ratio. Look at what happens. Those two ratios are equal. When two ratios are equal, we can say the sides are proportional. Okay. So there's a couple ways that we could set up um, proportional segments using the triangle proportionality theorem. So here we did upper part to lower part, and then on the other side, upper part to lower part, or small to larger, however you want to look at it. But we, there's a, other ways that we can do this based upon our, our um, properties of proportions. So let's look at another way. Let's see if we can set something else up. How about 6 is to... AD, so 8, this eight, AD. Okay, so AB is to AD, so upper to upper. Let's see what that is. Now it's not equal to those two, but that's okay because we set up in a different order. But now let's go over here, number calculate, and now let's do lower left to lower right. So up on the top we did left to right, now here we're doing left to right. What do we notice? Those ratios are the same. So the sides are proportional that way. Um, let me show you another one. How about, let's do um, upper part to the whole segment. So let's do a parenthesis and let's do this number plus this. So we did AB is to AC, essentially that's what we're doing here. And we get 0 0.041. And let's do another one. How about now we do AD, which is the upper part compared to th that whole segment of AE. So adding that, okay, so AD over AE, what do we notice? Same ratio, okay? So as I said, this is a triangle proportionality theorem, and it says that if you have a line parallel to one side of a triangle, intersects the other two sides and divides those sides proportionally. So copy that down, and let's get ready for an example. Okay, so now we're given this figure. Now before what we would do is we would set up a similarity statement, statement of proportionality, but we don't have to do that now. We have a large triangle and you have a line that's parallel to the side of the triangle. That means it divides the sides of the triangle proportionally. And there's a variety of proportions you could write out, but here I'm going to do 9 is to A. 
so left side, upper left to lower left, is the same as 15 to 5. Okay, so cross multiply and solve that proportion, we should get A equals 3. Now, see if you could come up with a different proportion and get, still get the same result. So how about we do, um, let's do A is to 5. How about that? A is to 5. So lower left to lower right and is this, should be the same as 9 is to 15. So upper left to upper right. If we cross multiply and solve, notice we still get 15A equals 45, A equals 3. So you can play around with the proportions and see what you come up with and still get that same result of A equals 3.